It's Thursday, family. It's time to shake things up with some great music and good talk. We're getting closer to the weekend. It <laughs> feels so good. Bring it back there. Thanks for spending your afternoon with the Michael Bayden Show. Five, four, three, two, one. What's up, family? This is Michael Bayden. Welcome to the Michael Bayden Channel, streaming live on the web and all Amazon Echo devices. Sponsored by VideoPitch.com. If you're a filmmaker, entrepreneur, comedian, or artist, become a contributor and earn extra cash by uploading your video. Go to VideoPitch.com now and share your story, show off your talent, and promote your business for free and earn extra money doing it. Now get ready for the Michael Bayson experience. One world, one world, one mic, one mic, one love, one love. Welcome to Soul. Thursday, and thank all the family at Mix 87.7. The women absolutely went crazy over me last night in Atlanta. I've never been bum rushed by so many beautiful, educated, lovely women, and everybody in the studio is hating right now. You saw the love last night. Thank you, Atlanta. Thank you, Mix 87.7. Thank you all for coming out. I appreciate the love. Yes, I did see the love. But I don't think it had anything to do with that voice, just to let you Let know. me tell you, Dominique, did you see how crazy <laughs> they went when I said, welcome to my event, ladies? Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, Michael you did. Bayden, you... Oh, my God, it's you. <laughs> I was like, I don't no, know which about one that did imitation, that? but you did. They all you did. did. Yeah. Oh. No, I mean, he has got some pretty serious fans, I admit. Even my girlfriend, Patrice, had a good yes. time. Yeah, mm-hmm. Patrice. Now, Patrice, Patrice had a crush on him before the, the seminar. Though. Yes, you did. In fact, so I'm going to tell, count. I'm gonna tell you what happened with me and Patrice. After oh, the event. Lord. You oh, wish. Oh, Meet Patrice oh, and her girlfriend, Karen. That's coming up next oh, on Michael Bay yeah. the Show. Thank you all for the love and ATL, baby. Get ready to hit the road. Orlando, we're coming your way. Memphis, Tennessee. It's the Michael Bay's the Show, shutting down your radio showtime, baby. Yeah, shout out to all the beautiful women in Atlanta. Looking forward to all the fine ladies in Orlando. You know we got a lot of Puerto Ricans in Orlando riding the Kissimmee. Hey, oh my uh, como style, wow. baby, on your way. <laughs> Woo! What? We be in it, too. Whoa! What? 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 That's south side of Chicago. You just spoke. Dominic, tell him what I just said, please. Um, he just said, what's up, ladies? There you go. Um, you know, I'm on the way. There you go. Dominique. See? Yes. He's with me now. You said muy tambien. That means what? I did not say muy tambien. I said hola, <laughs> como No, star. you didn't say nothing close to that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for the love. Mix 87.7. We had a great time last night. The woman up to it. The conversation was hot. All the pictures are posted right now on Michael Bazin Live and MichaelBazin.com. Check it out when you get a chance. And George, why would you ask me when I'm flying whether or not I think about the plane going down? See, this is the kind of, I'm focusing on the ladies. You're focusing on death, dude. No, I got my will done, and I want to encourage everybody else listening to the show to please get their <laughs> wills done. I know you all think it's a joke, but this is serious stuff. If something happened to you, what's going to happen with your stuff? What's going to happen, more importantly, Dominique, with your children? Yep, it, we have to do it. These are the things we like to pretend don't exist. But whether you're having a baby or you already have one, old or young, you got to have your paperwork in And running. check it out. you got kids. you got homes. The families had in their homes and their families for years, rather. Protected family. got to talk about the talk, the other talk. That's up next on the Michael Bayden Show. To the Atlanta women, I love you. Orlando, Memphis, I'm on the way, baby. Welcome back to the party. It's the Michael Bayden Show. To all of you all out there who are live, welcome to life. Uh, I know, man, it is, right? Because nobody ever wants to think about dying. No one wants to think about death. But the reality is, man, it's something that is all going to happen to us. Is what they say, death and taxes. That's exactly what we're living in right now. You all are not prepared. And ladies and gentlemen, I got to admit this to you. I'm not prepared. I do not have my will updated. I do have a will. But if I die today, it would not, the person that I want to get things are not going to be getting things. Mm. And that's a sad thought for me right now. I got to do something about it as soon as this show is over today. But what about you all listening to the show right now? What will happen to your kids? What will happen to your money? Do you all even know where the money is? A friend of mine's husband died. This is a true story. He got uh, killed in a car accident. And she spent five years trying to unravel this man's finances, man. Debt, bills not getting paid. Her credit got screwed Mm -hmm. up because she was attached to a lot of this stuff. You all need the latest stuff out in the will. Dominic, you talked about this many times, how important this is. Yeah, you know, I worked for a long time with a wills and trusts attorney doing a radio, and he always said, we don't even know how many valuable things we have around. We think we have nothing, but we don't think about our books, our papers, our 
equipment, you know, just precious things. The things that you think are nothing will be the very things that your family members will be fighting over after you're gone. And for some reason, a lot of us think we have more time than we probably actually do. We're like, oh, we'll get to it. That's something we cannot procrastinate on at all. You know what? We're superstitious. I got to say, black people, how y'all doing? No, you listen to the shit. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> my people, my people, my people. They think if they, they talk about a will, they'll die. They got superstitions. Well, if you write a will, you know you die the next. Ladies and gentlemen, please. This is important stuff. And I'm going to say this, and then we're going to get into this music and then get into this conversation. What's going to happen to your children? Mm. Who's going to get custody of the kids, man? We got a lot of single moms out there where the men are not involved in the, in the uh, child's life. Unlike you, Tanisha, if you pass away, your husband has the kids and yes. vice versa. What happens if both of you all get ha- caught in a car accident? And pass away, God forbid. Anyway, hit me up right now, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about the talk, talking about wills, funeral arrangements. Some of you all got to do the GoFundMe to fund your funeral. We're getting ready to put it down, ladies and gentlemen. Call everybody you know. Tell them Michael Bates is on the radio having the other talk on Grown Folks Radio, getting back into the music on the best show on your radio. No, it's a true story, man. Somebody did a GoFundMe to, for a funeral. Welcome back to the Michael Bates and Show. This is true. You Did, did you see the story about that, uh, Tanisha? I did. Yes, and not only that, I know family members that have gone on Facebook and shared their GoFundMe. And they want people to help raise money so they could bury their loved ones. How much is a funeral, guys? Who, uh, who well, knows? It varies on what kind of funeral you want to have. Just as basic as you want to get, I would I believe, no less than ten thousand dollars. What? George. Yeah, that's George, what they said. The see. average funeral is eight to ten thousand. I did research that. Who in the hell is gonna pay Thank that you. kind of money for? That's not expensive. That's the bottom of the barrel. That's, that's the a lowest. that's a, a a wooden box dirt. <laughs> and the person inside the box. Has, when's the last Basically. time you've been to a black funeral? I'm sorry, they got entertainment. They got <laughs> it's like a showtime at white the Apollo. Dove. Everybody Did performing. You say white dove? They want white doves. It's only got everything. pigeon money. Oh I'm my saying. god! Can I talk to a- Angela? How you doing? Thanks for holding, Angela. How's everything? I'm fine. Everything is good. Oh my goodness, white doves. Talk to me about the importance <laughs> of wheels and funerals. Talk to me. Well, the port- the importance of wheels and funerals is all good, but. The best thing for you to do is get a pre-planned funeral, a pre-need. That's pre-paying for your funeral. I actually work at a funeral home, so and I've been here for like over five to six years. And seeing some of the things that I've seen, it, the best thing to do is get a pre-need. Get you can get your wishes out of the way. Prepay for your funeral. That way, the insurance money can be whatever the kids want to spend it on. Because you know, they could take that insurance money, even though you have insurance money for your funeral. <laughs> you could, they could take that money and spend it any way they want to spend it, and still cremate you. All right, now here's my question to you, Angie. Wow. What kind of fights have you seen at the funeral home? Oh my God. No. Oh Lord, you. <laughs> they fight the the new wife. <laughs> they fight the new wife. The like kids yeah. don't know that they're not in charge of everything. Once you're parents remarry that current wife is responsible for everything no angela you're not understanding my question Uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry angela is there a physical fight at the funeral (laughs) is what i'm asking physical fights happen at the funeral physical fights girlfriends show up yeah mm -hmm. and george asked the question before did they knock over the casket in any of these situations well we have security for that (laughs) <laughs> they ain't gonna let no casket get knocked over. That's money, that one. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to jump in. Wait a minute. They tried to jump in 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 the hole afterwards, but yeah. Wait, 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 Angela. Can you hold on for a second? I got another question I need to ask you. Can you stand by for a second? Okay. Anybody that works sure. at a funeral home, I want to talk to you. Angela's at the funeral home. I got some questions to ask. She said something that probably got past everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, stand by. Angela's coming back. I got Tony on hold. Rupert's <laughs> Alex. Everybody's on hold. Dude, trust me, it's a good question. Stand by. I'm coming back with a hot question from the funeral home on the Michael Bays and show. I know you all want to know what I'm gonna ask. Yeah, hot questions for the funeral home person, employee. <laughs> Owner, I don't know what Angela is exactly. We're going to find out. Angela's still in the building. If you all just tuned in, Angela says she works at a funeral home. We're talking about wills. We're talking about trust. We're talking about, uh, she's called a pre-need. I just mm-hmm. learned that uh, term right now from Angela. Mm-hmm. Explain it's like it. a pre-prepaid phone, you know, for yeah. funerals. My grandmother has that. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Wait a minute, Angela. Can you ex- explain what that is before I ask the question I wanted to ask you? What is that? Okay. It's two different ways. Pre-need is when you prepay for your funeral. You can actually go in and sit with the family service person, and they will help you pick out the casket, the grave. It's three entities, actually, to a funeral. You have your funeral payments, 
which includes picking up, washing the body, embalming if you would like that. Then you have your cemetery side. There's another side to that. People don't know that when you have a funeral, there's three things that need to happen. You need to do the funeral planning, then your cemetery planning. Wow. Then for after the funeral and cemetery, you have the memorial, which is the headstone. So... Okay. Those are the things people My need goodness. to know. And can you imagine people not understand this and someone dies and like $10,000? And according exactly. to George, that's a cheap one. Miles is talking about white doves flying around. You got people customizing <laughs> caskets. Now, well, if, if you can't afford doves, just use pigeons. Ain't nobody going to know. That's for real. Ain't nobody going to know. <laughs> So Angela, with flour on right, it. right. Angela, here's my question. I heard you say something about people jumping in, and then I heard you say security. There's security oh, yeah. at funeral homes. What? You have to have security at funeral right. homes for, for some what? of these crazy women. What is security doing? Making sure if if a family member says they don't want certain people to show up at the funeral, oh my God. they get stopped at the door. You have gang members. Exactly. That's right. Killed. That's you right. All okay. Type of people all right. I got it now. Man. Wow. Well, don't die, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I can tell you. Or be, or be prepared. Oh Angela, God. thank you for hanging out with us. I appreciate You're that. Welcome. And thank you for dropping knowledge, man. pre need, ladies and gentlemen. You're write welcome. it down. Write it down. Coming back with more of your calls. Get those wheels done. Get that pre needs done for funerals. This is no joke, man. This is going down. Come back with more of your calls on the Michael Bazin Show. Thank you, Angela. Once again, mad love to Mitch 87 family family in Orlando. We had a great time. I'm sorry, in Miami. I'm already in Orlando in my head, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Let me slow down. Thank you all so much at Mix 87.7. We had a great job, a great time at St. James Live. Thank you all for selling out the books. Thank you all for the love. Thank you all for pitching your business. Go to videopitch.com. You want to see some of the business pitches. And, yes, I'm on my way to Memphis. And, ladies and gentlemen, Orlando. All the beautiful, lovely women in O-Town. Well, that's your neck of the woods, isn't it? Yeah, I was living there, man. Do you know how many Puerto Rican, fine Puerto Rican women are in Orlando? See, this is just not a, not. How many? It's not just a black thing. When I get to Orlando, I mm-hmm. want the white, the cool white women to come out, and we need the mm-hmm. Puerto Rican women to represent as well. I'll see you guys at the Abbey. That's going down May 17th. I will see you all in the building. Radio for all races, an event for all races. Come out and hang out with your boy, Michael Bazin. Coming to town in Orlando, May 17th. Time to shut the city down. You listen to the Michael Bazin Show, family, sponsored by VideoPitch.com. If you have a story, a talent, or a business to promote, and I'll share with my 5 million monthly users. And here's the best part. And here's the best part. You get paid to do it. Log on to VideoPitch.com now and become a contributor. That's VideoPitch.com. Now back to the Michael Bazin Show. There's a lot of strong women here in Atlanta, George. Um, a lot of strong physical women here. Oh, wow. You going to go there? Yeah, it is. I've seen <laughs> women in the mall, Linux Mall, very wide backs. Wow. There are some strong women. Oh, wow. And there's also some very emotionally. What, what you call them, wide backs? I, I, is that like a... <laughs> You guys. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go okay, ahead. I was just saying that there's some strong. Now women you guys, here. I'm learning here too. Go ahead. <laughs> there's strong physical women here. They work out. We got a lot of fitness ladies here. I met a group mm-hmm. of fitness ladies here oh, at, that's the, right. at the Linux Mall, and there's some very emotionally strong women here. But sometimes women misinterpret what strength is. We're talking about our women single because they're too strong. I think that sometimes being combative and being mouthy, sometimes women see that as being strong. Right, Tanisha? Being mouthy <laughs> is the term you're going to use. Mouthy. Wow. You mean mouthy. being opinionated? <laughs> Wow, Having mouthy. something to say. Yeah, that's throwback. What do you say about that, Dominic? That Women who throwback. like use a lot of words. What is what is that being strong, Tanisha? Mouthy. <laughs> that's what we can you, with. can you be mouthy with shoes on and and then it <laughs> No, you gotta you be can. barefoot and pregnant, Ooh. even in the kitchen, right? <laughs> I'm confused, but I, I know what you're trying to say. You're trying to say Attitude is not the same as strength. Thank you. That's all I'm he saying. He said, no, that ain't what he said. He said mouthy. I said mouthy. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I don't she even realize I use this word. She's trying to clean it up. She, to, she always trying to clean it up. I only got one thing to say. $10,000? Welcome back to the Michael Bazin Show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I, I had no idea it cost that much. I have obviously not paid for that's any funerals. That's not a lot. Why do you keep saying that much? I keep telling you that's not a lot. So wedding that's, and funerals, that's where your money gets spent. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm tripping right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I got Tony on the line. He's been holding on for a minute. What's up, Tony? Talk to me about this. What do you say about wills and trust and funerals? Well, just like the previous caller, Angela, I too also work at a funeral home and seen some crazy things. I believe that everyone should at least have some type of plan in place because GoFundMe is not life insurance. I got to ask you the same question I asked her. What have you seen at the funeral home that you want to advise people about? 
um, to have everything written out because there's been instances where they get married again and the children know what they want, but the new wife that don't want to honor those wishes that. because she wants to take over and collect all the insurance money and leave the kids out. Okay, hold on. Dominique, we were talking about this off the air. Go ahead and speak to that. Now we got Tony on. Well, it's one of the reasons why it would be a good idea to have not just a will but a trust because what happens each time you marry – your last set of kids and the set of kids before that can get cut out of the the uh, whole will, the whole process, because of the way the law works. If you don't lay it out specifically, your current wife or husband is probably going to end up in charge. So this is where all the fights are coming in at, is, is what you're seeing, Tony, right? Yes. She yes, sir. is. So have you heard? Have you had a casket turned over? I mean, I just want to know how bad it's getting at the funeral. <laughs> I mean, talk to me, dog. Come on, man. Oh, What's going down, I've Tony? Almost. I've had one almost get turned over. We didn't let it happen. It almost happened. See, I told them caskets don't get dropped, baby. When them handles break, you know how much them, <laughs> them handles cost? How much is a handle, George? <laughs> how much some handles handle? cost, George. Right? Some handles yeah. cost. Oh my God. God. You know what, man? I'm having a whole new perspective on this thing. I just want to. I was about to say, thank God. Oh, see, there you go. I just, hold on. Let me put everybody on hold. Hold on. Listen up. Uh, I just want to. Hold on. I, I, I just want joy. you to know. Hold on. I just want to thank God <laughs> that no one in my family has passed away. You know, yes. you know. <laughs> you know, you just said that everybody got to. That means your happen. family, too. And you know what they say? When you're in that passing, yes. even if you don't believe in God, that's when you start calling his name. All right. Not we got a song that. that's playing right now. Can we get into the music? <laughs> mm-hmm. Come back I hope more. it's a gospel song. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, thank you for calling, man. Rupert, we're coming to you next, baby. Stand by on the Michael Bayton Show. Y'all got jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Michael Bayden Show. Taking your calls right now on wills and trusts and funeral arrangements. If you just tuned into the show, a gentleman just called and said there was a fight because somebody was not in the program. Right. Let me Many tell times. you. It's we, a serious stuff, We man. had a family situation. Someone was mad because he didn't get to sing a solo. He wanted to sing a song during the funeral, and he was upset. Wow. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, Tori's been on hold for a minute. Tori, how you doing? Talk to me about this nonsense. I'm good. When I tell you funerals are horrible on my dad's side of the family, I don't even go. It comes down to a point where my dad died when I was in college at Selma in Atlanta, and the funeral was in Florida. I found out I was the primary beneficiary on the insurance, so Mm -hmm. I had to handle everything. It wasn't even an issue. It wasn't the money. That wasn't the problem. The problem was my sneaky auntie his sister because they don't got no money so they want to get in they changed my name on the insurance they what? like before my grandfather died they took land from my brother under his See? name so we already know they sketchy when i found out they was doing the program the day i was still in atlanta i left my class that second hit 120 on the highway to get here to sit in front of my auntie's face and ask her why would she do that? Wait, wait, like, wait, wait. Start the program, mm-hmm. start the plan, the funeral, and everything without me. Tori, Tori, how, Tori, answer this question. How could they change the name on the insurance policy? It wasn't like because they thought that I was in college and I wasn't. It come down because me and my dad mm-hmm. really weren't close, but we were close enough. Right. So she thought she could take over because she was a secondary beneficiary on the insurance. Can we? And understand? she wanted to just do everything her way. So when it came down to it, it was it, I, you could have handled everything. But the thing is, this is my dad. This is my father right. that I have to bury. Can we sa- hold on a second? Can we say something? People are dying every day. This drama is happening every day. That's why the phone lines haven't stopped ringing since we got into this this conversation. Dominic, you were working with these attorneys. This stuff, this stuff gets really ugly, man. There's a lot of forgery. There's a lot of. Um, this stuff is illegal. They're doing a lot of illegal stuff when it comes to people passing away, Dominique. Forgery, elder Forgery, abuse, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, yeah. You know, just all kinds of trickeration. That's why you got to have it written down. Hey, Tori, thank you so much for calling, man, and give me some insight into this, man. People changing names on wheels is absolutely insane. Yeah, I almost had to snatch a wig off. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thank you, Tori, for calling in. If you had to snatch a wig off, call it to the Michael Bay the show. I want to talk to you. <laughs> Shout out to all my family out there. And I say family, I mean radio for all races, black, white, Latino, Asian, Native American. Thank you all for tuning in to the Michael Bathing Show. Did you say whoop, George? That's right. George, George. Who, are, are you whooping for the black people or the white people, man? Actually, I'm, that that was a eagle's bark. That was a dog bark for the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Okay, George. Yeah. Nobody cares about, about the Eagles, that. man. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Jada's on the phone line with us. Jada, how you doing? We're talking about wills. We're talking about funerals. We're talking about everything we need to be handling our business about. What do you say, Jada? Yes, hi. Um, last year, my parents died. My mom died in January of 2017. Then my father died in October of 2017, which was, you know, my father had a lot of, you know, benefits, but he didn't have a will. And it was kind of, it, it was kind of bad at once in seven of us. But when we put it all together, whatever, we're going to split it all, but we mm -hmm. just got to work together. We had a policy, you know, with the life insurance and everybody split it. You know, um, it's seven of us and all of us still alive. But my mom, like I said, she died. But yes, it's, it's good that if even if they don't have a will, if they have like annuities or whatever, mm -hmm. it's still even much better. You know, yeah. speak to that, Dominique, because Dominique's hold on, Jada. Dominique's work uh, with an attorney as well. Go ahead, Dominique. No, it sounds like you were really blessed that your family was able to come to an agreement. Many times we waste the money on attorney fees That's fighting right. each other. Yep. It's good he had something for you guys so you didn't have to end up coming out of pocket for the funerals and all that and inheriting a bunch of debt. Jada, what do you yeah. want to say to everybody listening right now who's going through this, the lesson that you learned from this situation? Well, I learned because I have two kids and I actually took out a uh, um, life insurance out on me and my two kids. My daughter is 20 and my son is 15. And I also let my son know that, hey, look, if something happened to me for you and your sister as well, you go to State Farm and this is what's going on there. So, you know, I did let him know. I didn't let my daughter, I let her know that she had life insurance, but I didn't let her know the situation, how she had to handle it. I let my son know, so maybe, hopefully, if he don't pass before she do, he would know how to handle everything. How about that? Thank you so much for calling in, Drayda. Great lessons, man. And, Dominique, great uh, heads up on that as well. We're going to be talking to you throughout the show since you had this experience. Jada, stand by. Thank you for listening to the Michael Bathing Show. we got Angela on hold, thank a whole you. bunch of other folks. No, thank you. Come back with more of your calls. We're talking about The Talk. I know y'all don't like to talk about funerals and wheels, but we're doing this today on the Michael Bazin Show. Back into the best music on the best show on the box. This is the Michael Bazin Show. Y'all better back up off my, my <laughs> guests on the line. Welcome back to the show. Thank you all for being a part of the conversation. Thank you all for calling in and caring about this topic. It's the Michael Bazin Show. Grown Folks Radio is on the air. Tell everybody you know to log on to MichaelBazin.com. They can listen to the live stream, download the Michael Bazin Show app, and when you get home... Just go download your, if you guys have Echoes or Alex, I was it, Alexa devices. Alexa. I got to get used to it. I got to get used to it. <laughs> Alexa devices. Just when you walk into your door, say, Alexa, play the Michael Bazin show. And now you all can hear us on Echo and Alexa on the podcast when the show is over. Right now, my man, Rupert's on the line. We're talking about wheels. We're talking about funerals. We're talking about fights at funerals. What's going on, Rupert? Talk to me, baby. What's going on? Oh, wow. It's a blessed day to be on this side of the earth. And I wanted to talk to you about the, the, the disagreements. Now, I won't say fights. We don't have fights. Uh, well, my grandmother just passed. She was 81. So uh, what happened was they was at the uh, hospital before she passed. And my cousin asked my auntie about the insurance policy. And next thing you know, they started getting at each other like pit bulls, you know. So, it, it, you know, next thing you know, the emotions come and they want to make mm -hmm. permanent decisions off of temporary That's emotions. Right. Meaning, oh, you can't come to the funeral. That person go get a restraining order. So come to find out, um, after we put it, you know, while, while we didn't put it in the ground, mm -hmm. the insurance that my grandfather was uh, paying for her for over 65 years was only accidental. And nobody really went through the paperwork to find out. But God bless her when she had eight kids, six of them still wait, alive. Wait, 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 wait. back up a second, because I want to understand this. You said it was accidental, so what, it didn't cover the funeral? Well, it didn't cover the funeral because it was uh, because she died of natural causes. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Right. So you know, my grandfather was distraught. Yes, like I told him, you know, he got six living kids and nineteen grandkids. Right. So we gonna help put our grandmother in the ground, which we did. Mm -hmm. You know, even though it was a little bickering after the, you know, during the funeral because this person didn't get their name in the right. program, and that person didn't get their name in the program. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, How God. much did it cost y'all? How much the whole funeral cost? You hit it right on the head. It costs us about like eight to ten, eight to ten thousand. That's the minimum. Okay. Hold on, for, and hey, that wait, was the, yeah. that was the minimum, and they did that because uh, my grandfather was a minister for forty eight years. So Unbelievable. The people who had the funeral home gave him a blessing. Hold and on, hey Rupert, hold on for me, partner. Right, hey, on, ladies and gentlemen, this is crazy. You know, this, I can't believe somebody's arguing of the fact that name wasn't in the program. Mm. Where's my name in the program? It. You better believe. It. I've seen that too because families want to be recognized, especially Absolutely. if you have more than one wife and more than one set of kids. They want all want love in that program. Yes.
Coming back yes. with more of your calls on the Michael Bates Show. This is some crazy news, man. If you all are not taking care of business with these funerals, you better handle it right now, man. This is serious business. Come back with more on Grown Folks Radio. One nation, one grown folks station, baby. <laughs> To Alt George, why are you laughing, Alt George? <laughs> hey man, the, the, we're on, dude. Okay, I know. All right, all right. Awesome. Shout out to the ladies in Atlanta. Thank you all for coming out. You look beautiful. You got a little bit deeper. Little okay. Deeper. You look beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Thank you for coming out to represent Mix 87.7. And for the family in Memphis, Tennessee, I love Stay Southern deep. girls. <laughs> At Bookstop Festival, I'll see you there April 28th. And of course, mm-hmm. black, white, Latinos, you know what time it is, baby. <laughs> May 17th, downtown at the Abbey. I'll see you the guys there. In plug time. With Star 94. <laughs> with Star. George, you messed me up, man. To all my ladies in Orlando, you know how we get down. Star 94.5, see you May 17th. The Bays and Live Tour is in full effect, baby. I'm on my way to your town. You're listening to the Michael Bays and Show family, sponsored by VideoPitch.com. If you have a story, a talent, or a business to promote, and I'll share with my 5 million monthly users. And here's the best part. And here's the best part. You get paid to do it. Log on to VideoPitch.com now and become a contributor. That's VideoPitch.com. Now back to the Michael Bazin Show. Thank you all for hanging out with us today. It's Soul Thursday on the Michael Bazin Show. Thank you, Atlanta, for the love. Uh, and I didn't get a chance last night to do what all the women were screaming, going crazy to hear me do. Michael, yeah. please do one of your world-class poems. And, of course, we're talking about death today, oh about God. writing your will. So I'm going to call this piece... Will I, will I have my papers together when it's time to leave this place, when it's time to go to another race? He's dead now, and somebody else is in his bed now. As you move to another dimension, as you move to another place, you ask yourself, did I sign that piece of paper? Will somebody else love the man after I'm gone? Will somebody else be a father to my son? Will I? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. By Michael Bays and put it down, baby. That's my piece. Get your wheels done and stop messing around. Go to LegalZoom. Do whatever you got to do. Protect your family. You like that, G-Dub? That was the garbage, my man. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wow. Welcome back to the show. If you missed a call earlier, Angela really put it down. We talked about the importance of having a will. Did you see the story about that, uh, Tanisha? Yes, and not only that, I know family members that have gone on Facebook and shared their GoFundMe, and they want people to help raise money so they can bury their loved ones. How much is a funeral, guys? Who, uh, who well, knows? Morning. It varies on what kind of funeral you want to have. Just as basic as you want to get, I would uh, believe, no less than $10,000. What? George. Yeah. That's George, what they said. The serious. average funeral is eight to ten thousand. I did research that. Who in the hell is going to pay Thank that you. kind of money for? That's not expensive. That's the bottom of the barrel. That's, that's the a lowest. that's a, a a wooden box, dirt, and the person <laughs> inside the box. Has, when's the last Basically. time you've been to a black funeral? I'm sorry, they got entertainment. They got <laughs> it's like a showtime at white the Apollo. Doves. Everybody did performing. You say white doves? They want white doves. They only got everything. pigeon money. Oh I'm my saying. god! Can I talk to a- Angela? How you doing? Thanks for holding, Angela. How's everything? I'm fine. Everything is good. Oh, my goodness. White doves. Talk to me about the importance (laughs) of wheels and funerals. Talk to me. Well, the the importance of wheels and funerals is all good, but the best thing for you to do is get a pre-planned funeral, a pre-need. That's preparing for your funeral. I actually work at a funeral home, so and I've been here for like over five to six years, and seeing some of the things that I've seen, the best thing to do is get a pre-need. You can get your wishes out of the way. Prepay for your funeral. That way, the insurance money can be whatever the kids want to spend it on. Because, you know, they could take that insurance money, even though you have insurance money for your funeral. <laughs> you could, They could take that money and spend it any way they want to spend it and still cremate you. All right, now, here's my question to you, Angie. Wow. What kind of fights have you seen at the funeral home? Oh, my God. Oh, oh Lord. You <laughs> they fight the, the new wife. <laughs> they fight the new wife. The like kids yeah. don't know that they're not in charge of everything. Once you're parents remarry that current wife is responsible for everything no Angela, you're not understanding Even my question no, Angela, i'm children. sorry i'm sorry angela is there a physical fight at the funeral is <laughs> yeah, what i'm physical asking physical fights happen at the funeral physical fights girlfriends show up yeah mm-hmm. 
And George asked the question All before, did they knock over the casket in any of these situations? Well, we have security for that. So. Mm -hmm. They ain't going to let no casket get knocked but over. That's money there, that boy. They tried to jump, they tried to jump in. <laughs> Wait a minute. They try to jump in in, in the hole afterwards, but yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Angela, can you hold on for a second? I got another question I need to ask you. Can you stand by for a second? Okay. Anybody that works sure. at a funeral home, I want to talk to you. Angela's at the funeral home. I got some questions to ask. She said something that probably got past everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, stand by. Angela's coming back. I got Tony on hold, Rupert, <laughs> Alex, everybody's sick, on hold. Dude. dude, trust me, it's a good question. Stand by. I'm coming back with a hot question from the funeral home on the Michael Bazin show. I know you all want to know what I'm going to ask. Yeah, hot questions for the funeral home person, employee. <laughs> Owner, I don't know what Angela is exactly. We're going to find out. Angela's still in the building. If you all just tuned in, Angela says she works at a funeral home. We're talking about wills. We're talking about trust. We're talking about, uh, she's called a pre-need. Mm -hmm. I just learned that uh, term right now from Angela. Mm -hmm. It's like a pre prepaid phone, you know, for yeah. funerals. My so. grandmother has that. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Wait a minute. Angela, can you ex explain what that is before I ask the question I wanted to ask you? What is that? Okay. It's two different ways. Pre-need is when you prepay for your funeral. You can actually go in and sit with the family service person, and they will help you pick out the casket, the grave. It's three entities, actually, to a funeral. You have your funeral payment, which includes picking up, washing the body, embalming, if you would like that. Then you have your cemetery side. There's another side to that. People don't know that when you have a funeral, there's three things that need to happen. You need to do the funeral planning, then your cemetery planning. Wow. Then for after the funeral and cemetery, you have the memorial, which is the headstone. So okay. those are the things My people need goodness. to know. And can you imagine people not understand this and someone dies and like $10,000? And according exactly. to George, that's a cheap one. Miles is talking about white doves flying around. You got people customizing <laughs> caskets. Now, well, if you can't afford doves, just use pigeons. Ain't nobody going to know. That's for real. Ain't nobody going to know. <laughs> So Angela, with flour on right, it. right. Angela, here's my question. I heard you say something about people jumping in, and then I heard you say security. There's security oh, yeah. at funeral homes. What? You have to have security at funeral right. homes. For what? These crazy women. What is security doing? Making sure if if a family member says they don't want certain people to show up at the funeral, oh my God. they get stopped at the door. You have gang members. Exactly. That's right. Killed. That's you right. All okay. Type of people all right. I got fast, it now. Man. Wow. Well, don't die, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I can tell you. Or be, or be prepared. Oh Angela, God. thank you for hanging out with us. I appreciate You're that. Welcome. And thank you for dropping knowledge, man. Pre-need, ladies and gentlemen. You're write welcome. it down. Write it down. Coming back with more of your calls. Get those wheels done. Get that pre-needs done for funerals. This is no joke, man. This is going down. Come back with more of your calls on the Michael Bazin Show. Thank you, Angela. Playing the best music on radio and talking to the craziest listeners in the world. What was the name of the last young lady who called in? Tori. Tori said she had to snack a, snatch a wig off, or she may have to snatch a wig off. How serious is it at the funerals? Ladies and gentlemen, do you have your paperwork together? Do you have a will? Have you done a trust? Do you know the difference? Have you done a living will? Have you made uh, funeral arrangements? What about the pre-need, which is something a young lady called in and educated us about early. Go ahead, uh, What about the insurance when he said it was accidental insurance That's and right. it didn't cover natural death? You know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you were talking about this, Dominique, and let's get into this with Arthur on the air. It took, how long did it take them to bury James Brown? Uh, it took them Months. over a year, and they still may dig him up and bury him again because that dispute is not over. What? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Did you say dig him up? They may, inter what do they call it, interring him, disinter him, and bury him again because if the parties are still fighting about his final resting place. If the well, court it'll work for a lot of people, though, because, it, you know, it had a tour that he canceled that the ticket's still good. So <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Uh, I'm done with And you. what about the situation with Gary Coleman, Dominique? What was well, up with, with that? Well, with Gary Coleman, he just failed to update his will. So after he split up, separated from his wife he didn't update his will so when he got very ill his former wife got to decide whether or not See? to keep him on life support it's and like, hmm, she pulled let the plug think. George, uh, George. Uh, George. let me think do not go there <laughs> and i have the same issue going on right now i have not updated my will if i pass away right now someone who's the executor i do not want them to be an executor and so i'm writing this down right now on a big piece Please of paper do. in front of me i've got to get this stuff fixed and I got to get it fixed right now. Go hey, ahead and put Tanisha, George, uh, no, uh, Miles, no. and Dominique. Uh, no. We won't pull the plug. <laughs> hey, you all stand by. My man, Arthur. I'll be sleep on the plug. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Make sure that checklist. You all stand by, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Michael Bazin Show. I got callers coming up next. Y'all don't go anywhere. Come back with more on Grown Folks Radio. Back into the best music on the box. One nation, one grown folks station, baby. Please stop blowing up my phone, ladies. I promise you I will play back my poem, my world-famous poem, coming up at the top of the hour. I mean, I can't even concentrate on the show. My emails are blowing up. Everybody's like, oh, they my God, Mike. Like yeah, they're blowing me up. Dominique, now, the only, only person we need to go to to find out how great this is, because Dominique's family, she comes from a family of poets, right, Dominique? I do. My mom is Diane DePrima, Poet Laureate of San Francisco, and my father, the late Amiri Baraka, was Poet Laureate of New Jersey. They're both professional poets. And- so, wow. so, Dominique, only opinion that matters here is yours. How did you like my piece? Will I? I'm happy to see your creativity coming out, Michael. I think it's a great thing <laughs> for for us to encourage that in this mm-hmm. national poetry. That month. was a very politically correct answer, in ladies and gentlemen. Words, what she said, what I said earlier. What that was garbage. <laughs> <laughs> you all judge for yourself. Come back with my that. pizza at the top of the hour. Hot news. Grown folks, radio's <laughs> on the air. Welcome back to the Michael Bazin Show, baby. You're listening to the Michael Bazin Show, family, sponsored by VideoPitch.com. If you have a story, a talent, or a business to promote, and I'll share with my 5 million monthly users. And here's the best part. And here's the best part. You get paid to do it. Log on to videopitch.com now and become a contributor. That's videopitch.com. Now back to the Michael Bazin Show. You want to see something pathetic and sad? People going broke trying to play for funerals, ladies and gentlemen, $10,000. And that's an average. Hit us up on the Michael Bays and Show. You know the number. Hit us up on social media. Michael Bays and Live and Michael Bays and Show. Tanisha, that's a lot of dinero. That is definitely a lot of money. I couldn't see spending that much. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, earlier today on the show, we had an opportunity to talk to Tony. You got to hear what he had to say about the cost of wheels and funerals. Well, just like the previous caller, Angela, I too also work at a funeral home and seen some crazy things. I believe that everyone should at least have some type of plan in place because GoFundMe is not life insurance. I got to ask you the same question I asked her. What have you seen at the funeral home that you want to advise people about? Um, to have everything written out because there's been instances where they get married again and the children know what they want, but the new wife that don't want to honor those wishes that. because she wants to take over and collect all the insurance money and leave the kids out. Okay, hold on. Dominique, you, we were talking about this off the air. Go ahead and speak to that now we got Tony on. Well, it's one of the reasons why it would be a good idea to have not just a will but a trust because what happens each time you marry, your last set of kids and the set of kids before that can get cut out of the, the uh, whole will, the whole process because of the way the law works. If you don't lay it out specifically, mm-hmm. your current wife or husband is probably going to end up in charge. So this is where all the fights are coming in at is, is what you're seeing, Tony, right? Yes. She yes, is. So have you heard? Have you had a casket turned over? I mean, I just want to know how bad it's getting at the funeral. <laughs> I mean, talk to me, dog. Come on, man. Oh, What's going down, I've Tony? Almost. I've had one almost get turned over. We didn't let it happen. It almost happened. See, I told them casket don't get dropped, baby. When them handles break, you know how much them, them handles cost. <laughs> how much is the handle, George? <laughs> how much them handles handle? cost, George. Right? Them handles yes. cost. Oh my Tell god. Me, you know what, man? I'm having a whole new perspective on this thing. I just want to. I was about to say, thank God. Oh, see, there you go. The I just, hold on. Let me put everybody on hold. Hold on. Listen up. Uh, I just want to. Hold on. I, I, I just this, want George. you to know. Hold on. I just want to thank God <laughs> that no one in my family has passed away. You know, yes. you know. <laughs> you know. You just said that everybody got to. That means your happen. family too. And you know what they say when you're in that passing, yes. even if you don't believe in God, that's when you start calling His name. All right, I'm we got a song that. that's playing right now. Can we get into the music, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Come I back hope more. It's a gospel song. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, thank you for calling, man. Ruben, we're coming to you next, baby. Stand by on the Michael Bayton show. Y'all got jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Michael Bayden Show. Taking your calls right now on wills and trusts and funeral arrangements. If you just tuned into the show, a gentleman just called and said there was a fight because somebody was not in the program. Right. Let me Many tell times. you. It's a serious stuff, We man. had a family situation. Someone was mad because he didn't get to sing a solo. He wanted to sing a song during the funeral, and he was upset. Wow. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, tori has been on hold for a minute. Tori, how you doing? Talk to me about this nonsense. I'm good. When I tell you funerals are horrible on my dad's side of the family, I don't even go. It comes down to a point where my dad died when I was in college at Spelman in Atlanta, and the funeral was in Florida. 
I found out I was the primary beneficiary on the insurance, so mm-hmm. I had to handle everything. It wasn't even an issue. It wasn't the money. That wasn't the problem. The problem was my sneaky auntie, his sister, because they don't got no money. So they want to get in. They changed my name on the insurance. They, what? like, before my grandfather died, they took land from my brother under his name. So we already know they sketchy. When I found out they was doing the program the day I was still in Atlanta, I left my class that second, hit 120 on the highway to get here, to sit in front of my auntie's face and ask her why would she do that. Wait, wait, like, wait, wait. Start the program, start mm-hmm. to plan a funeral and everything without me. Tori, Tori, how, Tori, answer this question. How could they change the name on the insurance policy? It wasn't like, because they thought that I was in college and I wasn't going to come down because me and my mm-hmm. dad really weren't close, but we were close enough. Right. So she thought mm-hmm. she could take over because she was a secondary beneficiary on the insurance. Can we and understand? she wanted to just do everything her way. So when it came down to it, it wasn't, I, you could have handled everything. But the thing is, this is my dad. This is my father right. that I have to bury. Can we say, hold on a second. Can we say something? People are dying every day. This drama is happening every day. That's why the phone lines haven't stopped ringing since we got into this this conversation. Dominic, you were working with these attorneys. This stuff, this stuff gets really ugly, man. There's a lot of forgery. There's a lot of um, this stuff is illegal. They're doing a lot of illegal stuff when it comes to people passing away, Dominique. Forgery, elder forgery. Abuse, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, yeah. You know, just all kinds of trickeration. That's why you got to have it written down. Hey, Tori, thank you so much for calling, man, and give me some insight into this, man. People changing names on wheels is absolutely insane. Yeah, I almost had to snatch a wig off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, Tori, for calling in. If you had to snatch a wig off, call it to the Michael Bay the show. I want to talk to you. <laughs> Boy, if I could only share what it was going on <laughs> on the air. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Michael Bay the show. Playing the best music on the box. Don't forget the George Wilborn or join join George Wilborn. <laughs> 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 Join my man, George Wilborn, on Instagram at The Stress Reliever. The on Stress Reliever. Okay, thank you very much. Also, Michael Bays and Show and Michael yeah, Bays and Live it. on Facebook and Bays and Live on Twitter, Bays and Live on Instagram. Dominic DePrima, talk to him, lady. You can find me at DePrima Radio, D-I-P-R-I-M-A Radio on Twitter, on Instagram, and I'll see you there. Hey, talk to me about Prince. What happened with Prince's situation, Dominique? What was up with that? Well, you know, the thing that worries me about Prince is I hear you, Michael Bays, and you're a great businessman. Everybody knows you as a successful radio host, author, and the like. Well, Prince, same thing. He had all of his business ducks in a row except for his will and trust. And he just didn't have his paperwork together. So as a result, he has a sister. He's got uh, a half-sister and some half-brothers that are fighting over his legacy. And so far... The I'm sister is controlling, but yeah. <laughs> no, I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing about it, and I'm not going to. Go I ahead, am. Dominic. Don't let him throw you off. Don't let him throw you off. Well, the thing is, it's not just the vast money that goes with the Prince Estate. It's what does he want done with his songs? What happens right. to Paisley Park? That's Will it right. become a museum? Right. Will it be sold off? Will it be given out for private use? So it's not just the money. It's also the legacy. And that's yeah. the, that's a troubling thing about but Prince. But it will be hundreds of millions of dollars as mm-hmm. the years go on and on because Prince is who he is. That's right. He's got that brand. Hey, Chuck, what's going on, man? How you doing? What's going on, man? Talk to me. What's on your mind? What's up, Chuck? No, you talking about the wheel. My, you know, my dad passed away. He had two wheels. I, I mean, I never knew. If, I knew he had a will, but I ain't never knew about the second one. But uh, it was a big deal with the house and all that stuff. Uh, it's funny you, you you know talking about that today. Never, you know. So you know, the family just changed on me, man. It seemed like the family mm-hmm. changed on me. I'm still, wow. I still love them. They, you know, I, I still get an expression of love from them, but the 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 reaction of love wasn't really. I didn't really, you know, see it like when I was growing up. All because of the you wheel, though. So who's say? in the wheel? What do you get in the wheel? What do you get? Well, I'm his only son, so all I got was like a couple hundred dollars of insurance money. And my dad was in the service. He did what? like he was on secret mission in the service and all type of thing. His house went to my his sister. And it ain't about that. So I wanted, like, photos of my mom right. and my dad, yeah, you know, uh, that he had. 
I, all I got was a few photos of him, man. And it's just like, it's weird. Like, I don't understand. Well, that's why you that's why you need to have a will. You Support. need to be made aware of the will. And I'm going to contact my daughter as soon as I finish my will so she knows there's one out there. You all stand by, man. This is big time stuff, man. People die every single day. I know you don't plan to die, but it happens, man. That's what wills are for. Come back with more of your calls on the Michael Bates Show. Please, family, get those wills done today. It's not going to be mean-spirited. Everybody hold on. Welcome back to the Michael Bates Show. It's not yeah, going to be well. mean-spirited. Yeah. Playing the best music on the box talking about topics nobody else will touch with a 10-foot pole ladies and gentlemen talking about wheels we're talking about funerals we're talking about whether or not you know what's going to happen with your kids and what's going to happen with your money if your partner passed away (laughs) uh right now on the phone line with us is robin robin before i even talk to you let me tell you what you don't pay for First of all, many of you all belong to churches. Why are you paying the church if you already belong to the church? Why are you paying the minister if you already belong to the uh, to the church? And why is anybody buying food? You're coming here to bury somebody. It's not a freaking party. I'm not feeding nobody. Well, you know, people got to eat now. Eat before you get eat. there. You wow. eat oh, my goodness. Yeah, you wait, 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 wait. Grieving, take, wait, grieving takes listen, a lot of, out of you. And you I'm with eat. Tanisha. Everybody Uber. Wow! Oh. I didn't Grinch say it's back. Uber. Let me talk to Let me talk to Robin. Robin, how you bad, doing? Thanks for bad. calling. Talk to me. I'm okay. What do you I'm say? I'm okay. I don't I don't want to talk about the funeral clause because mm-hmm. I want to talk about the will. My okay. father died. Didn't leave a will. My sister came down from Puerto Rico. Took everything. All of her inheritance. Sold the house. Did everything. We have lawyers on it now, but some people think they can just do that. Well, it's over now. She, took she everything. came and did all that. No, it's not. No, it's not. There's a such a thing as thievery by fraud. Hmm. So wait a minute. She Who's that? Wait, wait, wait. What happened to the will? Talk to me about that. What happened to the will? No, there was no will. My father didn't leave a will, and she thought because she was the oldest, she can come down and just. Oh. My mother was still alive. So she signed power of attorney over everything. How many siblings do you... Friend Wait, who was Robin, a notary. Robin, Robin, I need you to answer this question. How many siblings? Uh, She's in Puerto Rico. It's me, my brother, and my other sister down here. So she left with the sale of the house, all our inheritance, three bank accounts, everything. How much? Uh, The sale of the house was about 240 like a hundred thousand in each bank account. Oh my god. And she's living like Mr. and Mrs. Trump in Puerto Rico. Well, how did they legally let her do it if it well, wasn't it said, legal? It sounds like she had power of attorney, attorney. that yep. she got from the mom. But exactly. the thing about it is it's not over because they can lawyer up. And if it's found to be fraudulent, gotcha. uh, mm-hmm. they might I get understand. their money. But it's a long sure. shot if she had power That's of attorney. Wow. Mm-hmm. Hey, Robin, I'm, we're so sorry to hear that. But it's a lesson for everybody out there, man. Not only do we have to check our own wheels, we got to check our parents' oh, yeah. situation. Of we got to find out my parents. You have to make sure. Yes, we got to yeah, make sure. Stay, stand by for me, Robin. We got to get into some calls and back into this music, man. So many people calling in about this. This is a serious problem that I hope you all are taking notes and getting those wills, trusts, and funeral arrangements knocked out. This is no joke, man. People are fighting over this. It's destroying families. What a great time I had last night with Mix 87.7 at St. James Live. Thank you all so much for having me out. Steve Hegwood, man, thank you, brother. I appreciate big, you so much, man, for bringing ups. us into the city. Uh, Dominic, you all go way back. Show him some love. Yeah, Steve Hegwood, it's so great to be working with you once again. You, of course, gave me one of my big breaks in radio, and I'll never, ever forget that. Hey, Steve, you know this big George. I call you Steve Hedgehog, so I, I just love you, man. <laughs> And keep what? doing your thing, Oh, man. my God. Man, Steve is going to call you up and blow you up, man. Hey, man, mad love to you. Memphis, Tennessee, I'm on my way on the 28th of April and then Orlando. Oh, my God. We're going to be downtown at the Abbey. It is going down on May 17th. Get ready. Bays and Live is coming to your town. Please check out my new book called Woman Up. I'll see you guys on the radio tomorrow for Feel Good Friday and Battle the Sexes. Later, y'all. Peace. We love you. Bye-bye. Hey, thank you all for caring about this topic, playing the best music on the show. And uh, I uh, Welcome back to the Michael Bates Show. Thank you all for tuning in, playing the blessed music on radio. And ladies and gentlemen, we're taking calls off the air. It's got me a little flustered right now because we're hearing some really devastating stories about what's happening with a lot of families out there. This is a big deal. I never knew it was this big an issue. Uh, thank you, Dominique, for even proposing this uh, show topic. I got um, Robin. I'm sorry. We just talked AJ, to Robin. Yeah, AJ, 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 what's going on? How you doing? Yo, I'm doing good. How y'all doing? Good topic here. Good topic It is, here. man. It's serious. What do you say? Yeah, I'm calling from the ATL. Let me just say, I had an experience when my father passed, and um, it, it costs a little bit more than uh, 18 
for him. I had to pay for the we had to pay for the flower over the cash. We had mm-hmm. to do all that. But to make a long story short, he died suddenly. And when I tell you the fam the family on his side flipped and tried to make me and my brother come apart. You know, they was trying to um give him everything. And this is my me and my father my father and my me and my brother, we're the only two siblings. Right. So they was trying to come between us two, giving him everything. And my brother, a uh, military guy, been in the military for many years, stood up and said, no, that's my brother. So we what So together. what happened? What ended up happening, AJ? So what happened was they was trying to, when my mother was there, but my mother was so distraught, but they was trying to corner her about the insurance money. Uh, where's this money coming? Where's mm-hmm. the inheritance coming from? Where's this coming from? Right. But this is on my father's side. His 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 siblings. He have nine of them. So what what so was it? What was what was the end result? AJ, what was the end result? Where where are we at now with this? How did it end up? The end, the end result that my mother had to step in and intervene and say, "These are my children. That was my husband." Mm-hmm. Put so a foot this now. is where yep. the money is going to right there. And but but at that point, my father died so suddenly. My mother was mm-hmm. destroyed. And she just didn't know and not know where she was going because she was just sitting there talking to him. And the next minute, he had a heart attack. Oh, my God. So sad. That is terrible, man. Hey, thank you, AJ. Let me talk to uh, uh, Valerie. Valerie, how you doing? Talk to me about this topic, man. This is craziness. (laughs) I'm doing fine. Well, with my father, it was it was awful. We had to fight with the aunts and things like that. But with my mother, everything was copacetic for the simple fact it was about trust and respect. My mother talked to each one of us. There were, she gave birth to five of us before of us are living. Mm-hmm. She told us what she wanted. She wanted the oldest one to have the house, the younger one to have the, uh, the insurance policy. I didn't need anything. I had my own house, my right. own car, my own husband, mm-hmm. everything. And the other one would live with the other one. We did exactly what mother asked us to do. Wow. Now she told me, she told me, Valerie, the only thing I want you to do is if I get put on one of those machines, don't let them keep me like that. Gotcha. And you know, mm-hmm. I cried behind that. I really mm-hmm. cried. Mm-hmm. I said, Well, why are you ask me? She said, for the simple fact, what would happen with Faye? I said, Oh, she she'd be hysterical. What would happen with Linda? Well, she'd be a basket case. <laughs> what would happen mm-hmm. to Kathy? I said, Well, she would cry. She would be upset. Eventually, she would do what you wanted her to do. She said, but why did I ask you? Because you're just going to do said, it. Because I would do exactly what you told me to that's do. Right. She said, that's right. I have a question before I let you go, Valerie. I'm sorry. Did, did she have this conversation in front of all of you all or individually? Individually. I think it would be important. She talked to us yeah. individually. Mm-hmm. Wait. She go talked ahead. to us go individually ahead. first. Mm-hmm. And then she talked to us collectively. Gotcha. And then we said, yes, ma'am. And we did exactly what mother asked us to do. And we had no problems. Ma'am. And we still yeah. have no problem. And we wow. are close as ever. There you go. That's hey, Valerie, nice. I got to get out of this right now. Good Thank story. you so much. That was a great story. I hope you all took notes on this, man. Unfortunately, and this is what Tanisha was saying off the air, how do you go to your parents who haven't had this talk and say, we need to talk? Because they certainly don't want to think about their death. And sometimes the parents who don't want to think and deal with their own mortality that cause all these issues in the first place. Thank you all for tuning in to the Michael Bays and show. Come back with more of your calls on Grown Folks Radio. Wow, this is really important stuff, y'all. Michael Bazin Channel, streaming live on the web in all Echo Amazon devices. Sponsored by VideoPitch.com. Tell all your friends who are filmmakers, entrepreneurs, comedians, or artists to log on to VideoPitch.com today and start getting paid for uploading their best videos. Go to VideoPitch.com now and share your story. Show off your talent and promote your business and get paid doing it. And also, family, don't forget to join me on Facebook at Michael Bazed and Live and Michael Bazed and Show. And hit me up on Instagram and Twitter at Bazed and Live. That's B A I S D E N Live. And yes, that's actually me posting on a page, family, not my representative. See you next time on the Michael Bazed and Show for more hot topics and great music.